in this video we are going to have a look on the foreign key constraint foreign key constraint is actually used to pass the referential integrity for example if i have a departments table in which i have three departments like department 10 20 and 30 so by the time we are entering any employee in the employees table we need to ensure that any employee which is getting added in the table must be there in either department 10 or 20 or 30 or you can also set it to null but there must not be any employee getting added in the table which is working in department 40 because there is no department 40 in my organization so such things is called the referential integrity and it will be taken care by this foreign key constraint so let's see practically how we can do such things so for foreign key as you can see I need to work on these two tables so here it is TVL courses which I already created and make sure in the course ID I have already make it a primary key so here you can see in the TVL courses course ID is a primary key now in the students table I do have a column called course ID and I want to pass a reference for this column from this one alright so what I want to do is in this course ID of students table I want to pass the reference of this column but before creating this table again as you saw this table is already created let me drop this so drop table TBL students I'm dropping because I don't have any data in my such those tables so I can do that if you have already created a table and inserted some data make sure you are using the alter table command so now the scenario is I want to add a foreign key in this column so let's start on the column level itself on the table level itself rather so it's a very same way constraint constraint name like student course foreign key and the type of constraint is foreign key itself and on which particular column you want to do that it's on the course ID it's not essential to put a same name while giving a relationship you can give any particular name right here so just to remove that confusion I am changing the name here so that you will not be confused alright so foreign key on the course column now references table name like tbl underscore courses and then the column name of course table that is course id so in course table the column name is course id while here I named it course so foreign key is course and it is referencing to a column which is a primary key in the tbl courses table so if I will execute this one now alright so issue is just like I need to select this one because the table I already when I executed this one this query also got executed this command also got executed and the table already exists so now when I will execute this one you see with the same, very same syntax the command got completed successfully and here you will refresh it and will see there is a column course which is now a foreign key alright so this is how you can start working with the foreign key and the referential integrity thing now let me drop this table to do some changes again alright so what I can do here again is I can do the cascade things for example if something is being removed from the courses table so what should happen for example there is a course ID 10 on which some students are pursuing so if I remove or I change anything in that particular ID what should happen so on delete set null what this will do it will simply set a null for example student a b c is pursuing course 10 and the course 10 is removed from the table so what about the dependency so for the student a b c the course id will be set to the null so that later we can update anything similarly i can do one more thing that is on delete cascade that simply means if I will delete the course 10 ABC who is pursuing the course 10 will also be deleted means the dependent data will be deleted 
generally we don't go for this one but yes there is an option like that and similarly there is on update casket option also available which means if you will make course 10 to course 100 it will automatically update the course id of abc from 10 to 100 so this is how you can manage for about this foreign key or referential integrity concepts